Hi, everybody. Good evening. First of all, I want to start with a thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here to share my work and our work with you. Thank you for being a like-minded person to change the world for good. All of us are day in and day out trying to do that. A huge thank you to Humanitarian Grand Challenges Canada um, for believing in us in some buckets and for the supporting team of WFP Accelerator who's really accepted all of us and in our innovations and pushed us as individuals and as products in hoping to make the world even better. So thank you in advance. Let me tell you a little bit about my work. 2010, the Haiti earthquake. Do you remember where you were when you first heard about it? I remember where I was because I was directly in the middle of coordinating, providing basic human needs, shelter, food, water, to the victims of the earthquake. The humanitarian community wanted to provide food in raw material, rice, beans, so that people could come together to cook and to eat as families and as communities because cooking grounds people. And in a disaster reality, it's so ungrounding that they wanted to provide that. The problem? Well, they had the rice and beans, they didn't have a way to allow people to cook. And so what they ended up doing was distributing nutritional bars. So while people had the nutritional caloric intake that they needed, what they didn't have was the emotional, psychological regrounding that was necessary to start healing. Let's fast forward to today. People use wood, coal, all over the world to cook. The issue is that these solid fuels are released carcinogens, and inhaling them is the fourth largest cause of death globally. Another issue that is emphasized within women, who are traditionally the ones who are cooking, and children who are surrounding their mamas as they cook. Hi. I'm Ahav Azaremsky, and I work for Sun Buckets. Sun Buckets is a portable, solar-powered cook stove. You charge it in the sun for two hours, and then you can take it back home. It maintains the heat for six hours so that you can, you can cook a traditional meal for a family of four to five while using just the power of the sun. We're currently rolling out in India. India is a very interesting, has a really interesting situation. The Prime Minister and the policy established that by 2030, 40% of the energy has to be renewable energy. And so corporations and departments and agencies are forced to figure out solutions. Indian Oil Corporation, the largest supplier of gas and oil in the country, turned to some buckets as a solution for cooking. So after, in September, we just test piloted, we rolled out 10 units, and with the cooperation of the government in 2020, we're rolling out 10,000 units. And the growth is gonna be exponential. With what you're seeing here on the surface is a sun bucket, and that woman is cooking traditional um, Indian bread from, she's in Lay, and you can see in her face that she's like, hey, it works. Can you believe it? Hey, check this out. Thanks to Humanitarian Grand Challenges Canada, we have the resources to roll out 50 units in the refugee camp of Kakuma in Kenya. The issue in Kakuma is that UNHCR supplies wood for cooking. One, they provide enough wood for one-third of cooking needs, and so people sell their food in order to buy supplies so they can cook their food. Interesting. Second, logging is illegal in Kenya, and so UNHCR is buying illegal firewood from the black market to provide it to the refugees. We're asking you today for your help to do two things primarily. One, 
These 50 units from, that are funded by the Humanitarian Grand Challenge, we're going to end with that at the end of 2020. Sorry, in, in two years from, uh, we have another year and a half to go. After that, what happens? We want you to come in at that point, but even to join us now. First of all, in the next three years, we want to ensure that 40,000 units are distributed within the refugee camp so that that fills up the missing gap, the gap of the two-thirds uh, to, to basically cook, um, to provide for the cooking needs, the two-thirds of cooking needs that are currently going um, unserviced. The other thing that we need your help in is we actually want to transition in the next five years UNHCR completely over from illegal firewood to using sun buckets. The 50 units that are going to be implemented now, they're rolling out in February, UNHCR is deeply involved in the field study of what they need to prove that it works. And if you're a partner that can help do either of these goals, please join us today so we can integrate you into our work today so you can help us roll out in the future tomorrow and be part of the solution. Thank you.